Hi there, my name's Andy Sykes, otherwise known as Hexjibber. I'm a award-winning animator and I also teach flash animation in universities and colleges here in the UK. This is my website, hexjibber.com, and uh, here's the lesson. If you checked out my last lesson on making a loop, you should hopefully have a little loop moving from one side of the screen to the other. What I'm going to show you now is how to create a motion guide so that motion guide will determine how the symbol moves from left to right or whatever direction we want it to work in. Um, okay, <laughs> how to do that? We need to create a new layer. We've got our content layer which has got our face on it. If we click on this little symbol here we can create a new layer. If we double click on that layer we can change the layer properties to a guide. Pretty simple. Let's call it motion guide. If I can spell it right. <laughs> there used to be a little symbol that let you create a motion guide in Flash, but it's not in CS5. Okay, so in our motion guide, we want to draw a motion guide. <laughs> uh, if you click on, you don't want the deco tool what we want is the pen tool so if you hold down hmm, let me see if I can actually cut, there we go, that's the pen tool <laughs> um, we need to draw a line with our pen tool uh, I'm going to change the colour of the pen tool to green so it's easier to see and I'm going to draw a wobbly line moving from left to right so here we go Now that's in our motion guide layer, you can see we've just got one really long keyframe which is just that stroke. It has to be, you have to draw it with the pencil tool or one of the other stroke tools, you can't draw it with the brush tool because uh, that draws fills, not strokes, and it has to be, a guide has to be a stroke. So what we need to do now is we need to make sure that our content layer is attached to our guide layer. So if you hold down the left mouse button on your content layer and drag it so you get this line with a dot at the end of it onto your motion guide layer you can see that the symbol changes and the content layer moves slightly so that it's sort of nested within the motion guide layer so if I pull it off again you can see that they both change back and if I pull it back on then they change again so that just means that this content layer is locked to this motion guide so it's not quite moving along the line yet what we need to do is I'd say first now we've finished drawing our motion guide we can lock it so you see in this lock panel I just click there a little lock applies and I can't move the line anymore or select it if we go to our content layer what we need to do is get the black selection tool and make sure that this circle in the middle is clipped onto the line. Helps if you turn snap to objects on, which is this little magnet here. And hopefully, you shouldn't be able to drag it off the line. So, in frame one, we've got it at this point in the line, and we're going to go to our second keyframe at frame 75 and drag this middle bit and clip it onto the line. You can tell that it's clipped onto the line when the circle gets big. So there we go. Let's hit enter and see if it's working. There we go. We've got our character looping and moving along the line. When you've got a motion guide like this, it won't show up when you export your animation so you don't have to worry about having a big green line in front of everything. But if you want to see what it would look like within Flash, you can click here on this little dot and it will hide it. See there's a big cross there. So now you can see what it would look like. And it looks like he's going along a roller coaster. It's pretty intense. Okay. And next lesson I think I'll show you how to use masks, which is a way of making objects disappear into other objects. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can also buy my book.
the Hextuber Coloring and Activity Book. You can buy it in the UK, US, Germany, France, Japan, from Amazon and other good stores.